Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Black Channel here at Ticker Talker, and we got a little turnabout going on here with Chairman Powell speaking right now, and the market not liking it too much. So here you got your SPY, once again, uh, we're going to see if we can hold on to an inside week. We're getting closer, upper, upper middle, and you see this here closer to not being an inside week right to taking that out nowhere near taking the month out as yet so uh, not total panic here you can see here on the on the uh, lower lower left had an inside bar pokes up and then boom as soon as this thing goes red we're looking for an outside bar which we got right and the thing about that is full time frame continuity the downside we're red on the month we're red on the week we're red on the day when that happens and then that changes that 60 back down so if we go to QQQ Not an inside bar, but that was red on the day and red on all time frames. And remember, we're watching this for the rest of the month, this 2-2 reversal on the month here, below 310.88, and there's a lot of things doing that. So we know to be uh, have our uh, radar on that. And then if we go to the subsectors of the Qs, SMH is now 2-2 two, two down here, right? 2 up, 2 down on the month. XLK here. It's right there. See that? Right below 128.61 is what we want to know about because there, there's reversals going on here to the downside on a monthly basis. If you go to Labu here, boom, 2-2 two, two reversal. So you got all sorts of problems going on over there. Uh, if you go to the QQQ again, if you're going to counter it, right, counter trade this this morning when it went into conflict, what I mean by that is when it goes green on the 60 in the day for a while, here's what we, one of the things we look for is this. The outside bar, the two down, and then here, reversal against the outside bar, because the measurement is to come back up into here. Now, if they're willing to go outside, they might do it again, and then they might do it again. Here, 2-2 two, two, reversal 30 right here, back to the downside. Now we're looking to go take out the lows, right? So if we had to get on the list this morning, we were watching snow, right? And you're going to see how nice, nicely this worked out, right? Didn't quite make it up here on the daily. But here on the 30, outside bar, two down, boom. When you take this out above 245.76, we're looking to take this out, 261.44, which we did. And then you take their money because you don't have a reversal yet, and you don't have to get out until 267, and it's a reversal. Now you go short, make more than it actually moved. All right, so, um, yeah, things coming in here um, on Chairman Powell. Uh, if we did have any strength, it's energy. Crude oil hanging near the highs. UCO here, and you can see XLE. XLE coming in a little bit with the market now, but still for the most part holding up there. XOP here now stalling out with this market coming in. Market going trying to go back towards the lows right now. Dow Jones Diamonds. Uh, if we go to um, OIH, and OIH still trying to hang out there. You had some nice ones like CPE, still was hanging out near the highs. Uh, Emirate Haas, you know, all the usual suspects. You can see this still hanging out to the highs with the spy doing this. Here, spy tanking, and these things are so far still holding. So if the spy stabilizes, right, not right now, if the spy stabilizes, you can look at stuff like this in EOG, CLR, PXD, little guy SM. In the video last night, nice little move there. 16 come 17.45. PDCE. All right, market's still coming in here. So, uh, you know, maybe you get the inside 30s in here. Like I said, you won't see that market stabilize. You can see this lower left. The up, the inside, inside, boom, measured move. That's what you want to look for. Uh, if we go to uh, Mondelez coming up here a little bit. The XLP was coming up here, but I think they're giving it up now too. Yep, giving it up with market. Just a counter move here, right? Coming back through previous range on the daily. So here was the two down, closing on the low. So anybody short could stay short. But once you took out today's highs, then you can see you can trigger some stops back up through here. Go to MCO. MCO already giving it up with the market. How's the chickens? TSN was up a little bit. That's SAFM. But like I said, the market coming in here. So a lot of this stuff going to give it up. How about LGIH? LGIH giving it up now too, but that was on our list here because of this, the weekly, upper middle, down, then back up. But I think we want to get to the downside here uh, because we've been watching a lot of the SMH, right, 2-2 reversal, right, and you can go right through, right 
through the list. ADI also taking out last month's lows. Let's see if some of these 60s are setting up in here. Inside 60 trying to go to the downside right now. You've got uh, NVIDIA here. NVIDIA trying to take this out three hours inside of here, right? But you can see this monthly now taking this out. And so whenever, you, like I said, when you see this broadening formation real tight in here and you go up in here and start failing, we're looking to take all this stuff out, which we're about to do. Uh, if we go to Teradyne, Teradyne, you can wait to see here is where we get more problems out of the Teradyne if you can take this out. 113.92. You're not quite there yet, but we're watching to see how many of these things continue to break um, those lows. Uh, if we go to, uh, let's go see, AVGO, how you doing? AVGO here, you can see on that monthly here below this, 453.59, right? You're there right now. If you go to LRCX, plenty of room on that, so we'll see. Um, if we go to OLED, and OLED, taking out last month's lows. It was already 3-2 down last month, right? And you can see this. This is what we look for on the daily. Have them come up a little bit, slight higher high, and then boom, outside bar, back through the previous range, going into the lows, OLED. If we go to NVAX, NVAX is still going, all right? Here, from that monthly, here, below this, 212.77. After the weekly up in here, did it before, two, below 283. So this thing is just a real nice move to the downside. We'll see if that keeps going. If we go to Johnny John. And Johnson & Johnson here, you're going to see this here. Inside month to the downside, the 212. Two. So more Johnny John having some trouble. How's Moderna doing? Moderna, once again, that two up, two down on the month here. G little slight green on the day. So here's what you can look for here on the 60. You see this? Inside bar, pokes up, boom, rev strat back down here. Now you can see if that can change that daily back red, which is important here, the opening of 128.70. So we'll see. It's got a little room to try and take that out. Uh, if we go to DG. Semiconductors going to the low socks as I speak right now. DG having, still having some issues. Once again, this has been going down, taking out monthly twos for a while, right? Having a rough week here, and you can see last week that inside week to the downside. If we go to some retail, VFC Corp. And VFC having a rough one here. You can see this upper left. Inside day. Pokes up, slight higher high, then bam, rev strat 122 back through here to look, see if we can take this out to be to fulfill the broadening formation. I can draw that for you. Like so. There you go, like so. All right, five minutes uh, just flipped up, so we're uh, trying to stabilize a little bit in this market. Like I said, if we stabilize, you've got Amarada Hess trying to go to the highs right now, so some of the energy still hanging around. If you go to TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, once again, here, taking out last month's lows, right? Is this a three or a two? That's a two up, two down, right? And this was an outside bar. So we're looking at least to take that out, which we did. Uh, the outside weak upper middle takes that out, and down she goes. If we go to ADPT, ADPT, we call this the Momo shooter. Look at this. They got them up in here, they got them up in here, and then BAM! Right? Anybody who's trapped up in this stuff gets hammered right here. Below 52.66 for the rest of the month. Already down to 46.27. Nice move. We'll see if that sets up again. If we go to WPG, looks like these guys are filing for bankruptcy if that's your thing. And these guys having all sorts of problems, right? All, all sorts of problems. So uh, we'll see if that continues to bleed out. Market trying to s s stabilize here. And what I mean by that is here, you go spy. You want to watch that 60, right? So it pokes down a little bit, but it doesn't fall apart, right? So anytime you have an outside bar like this, you want to know if you're coming back through it because then once they paid up and sold down, they might do it again, right? So they come back here, always paying attention to this, the color of the 60, 
that tells you the direction it's going, right? You've got FANG energy going to the highs in this right now. So energy staying strong uh, once this uh, stabilizes, like I said. Uh, if we go to TTD, and TTD still having all sorts of problems, as you can see here once again. Takes out the previous month high, takes out the previous low, bam, takes this out right here. So below 745, trading 670. But you can see here on the 60, you can see how here, it's stock, what we call the mother bar, right? So you can see how price discovery starts over again when you get stuck in here. You see an inside bar, it goes up, then it slightly takes out the lower low, so you can see the higher high and lower low. That's price discovery broadening formation starting over again. So it gets a little stuck in there for right now. All right, let's see, we got uh, EXAS. An EXAS here, slight lower low, trying to come down in here, but you can see once again here now, inside month, lower middle, boom, downside. So that's good for the rest of the month to look for setups below 126. All right, nice back through previous range, because we know people will be stopped against well-known pivots like here and here and here and here and where they got in. So I always like to come back to a previous range. If we go to PRPL. PRPL. Here you go. Inside month. Pokes up. Then when it goes red in here, we're looking for this to become an outside month, which we did. Bam! Right through here. And it was on a gap or though. But yesterday, if you would have been watching this, you can see this upper middle. I mean upper left. The inside bar and then the inside down and you can stay short because if that works it's going to change all that back down then you get your inside 60 here pokes up as soon as that goes red boom that thing's going into the lows if you go to APPH APPH here boom two two month two up by taking out the previous high two down by taking out the previous low below 26 Perfect, right there. Look at that. Boom. All right, so we'll see if that sets up again. That's good for the rest of the month. You also notice the weekly was an outside week. So higher high than that, lower low than that. Boom. That Which means when this high got rejected, right here is where it's still getting rejected. Boom, down she goes. If we go to VRM. And VRM. Here you can see this inside month, all right. Then it pokes up, then boom, and it comes back through here. That's a rev strat month below 37.20. Unfortunately, it was a gap, so you couldn't have gotten that. But you got a two-hour pattern that goes into the lows. We'll see if that sets up again too. If we go to it's a Tesla. Tesla still having problems and coming after that. Taking out last month's lows again. Remember, that was the reversal on the 2-2 two -two month here last month. Below 7, 17, 18. Now you're down at 6.23. Still trying to drop here. we got a bad tick in here. But still trying to drop and take out the weekly lows. If we go to Beam, B-E-E-M. All right, new low list is rolling along here again, so where do you think you guys are going? Uh, Beam, and you can see this, had that inside month to the downside. Still good still going have no reversal against you so if you looked at the weekly you would add here slight higher high that's a two up and then boom back through the previous range that's a two two week to come back ripping down through here and that occurred below five fifty eight sixty nine you're at 31 and that's still good right and then here once again on the 60 the inside 60 pokes its head up boom rev strats gonna take it straight into the lows which it did all right looks like i'm running out of time again couple more here cutter here inside 60 to the downside still inside of the month but as you can see this weekly this is what gets your attention takes out the high takes out the low and down she goes one more ABCL and vax to the lows as I speak and ABCL just having a rough day but you can see stuck in the mother bar we'll see if this can take out that inside 60 to the downside one more check on the broader averages for you spy Coming back down, re-breaking all that stuff. And so 15 minute, still down, five minute. Where do you think you're going? Here you go. Boom. Two, two, five or right back down. How's QQQ? Yep, same deal.
took out the slight higher high, but then when you come back through here, boom, two up, two down. In this case, a continuation of the time frame continuity all being red. So be aware of that. A lot of tack and trouble here, folks. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Robson, this is the Black Channel here at Ticker Tacker with the Strat Time Report.